Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, April 3rd. I'm James Spann. Big weather anniversary today. 40 years ago today, the super outbreak of tornadoes in 1974. Uh, 80 Alabamians died in that event. We had tornadoes all the way from Alabama into Canada. And at the time, it was the largest outbreak of tornadoes on record in this country. And that record uh, stood up until 2011. Uh, and maybe some active weather after midnight tonight and tomorrow. And another chance of strong storms as the weekend ends. A lot to talk about. Uh, here's the big picture. And anytime you see a look like that in April, you know somebody's going to have some problems. A very deep trough in the west that is progressive. Moving to the east, you can see some convection in advance of that this morning over Missouri and Iowa. Starting off the day in the 60s, pretty balmy. Uh, Birmingham at 65 will expect a high around 80 today. And around the nation, the uh, weather is turning colder behind the trough over the Rockies, but it's, again, very balmy and ahead of that uh, system across the uh, Gulf Coast states. That's where we stand early this morning. Uh, that was uh, the watch warning map at about 5 o'clock. On the north side of this low, winter storm warnings in effect. From Nebraska up through parts of uh, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, upper Michigan. Flash flood watches in effect in the warm sector through Missouri and parts of Illinois and Indiana. And here's the convective outlook. There is an, an enhanced moderate risk of severe weather this afternoon and tonight. Uh, over much of Arkansas, southern Missouri, then over into western Tennessee and the Delta region of northwest Mississippi. Some of the cities involved in that would be Paducah, Kentucky, Little Rock, Memphis, Cape Girardeau, and then surrounding that, the standard slight risk from Houston, almost down to Corpus Christi, up to uh, just south of Chicago in Indianapolis and Cincinnati. And that risk does extend into the northwestern corner of Alabama. And all of this will be after midnight for northwest Alabama. Uh, this is the tornado threat. And uh, that's where the greatest risk of tornado activity will be over northeast Arkansas and southeast Missouri. And a 15% probability is very high. That means there's a 15% chance of a tornado within 25 miles at any, at any given point. This is the uh, damaging wind percentage. Very high numbers there, 45%, almost a 50-50 chance of having damaging wind at any one point. Uh, up and down the Mississippi River, and that would include Memphis. So we'll certainly be watching developments. Uh, those storms will likely uh, enter northwest Alabama well after midnight. And then tomorrow, the guys at SPC are maintaining the standard slight risk through uh, much of Alabama for the squall line, but it should weaken during the day. And uh, again, I really think the higher severe weather threat will be north of the state tomorrow. But any time in early April, you have a system, you have to be vigilant and watch the thing. Let's take a look at the uh, modeling and go through all these maps here. This is the GFS, the uh, OZ run valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. There's your trough. The surface low is over eastern Kansas, 999 millibars. And again, clearly you can see why there's some concern over Severe weather and tornado activity over parts of Missouri and Arkansas with a setup like that. Here today, it's just going to be breezy and warm. The winds will increase out of the south, uh, maybe gusting to 20, 25, 30 miles an hour late this afternoon. There could be a shower around today, but the activity should be very widely spaced. Much of the day will be dry. Just after midnight tonight, the surface low is east of Des Moines. Uh, deepens a little bit to 995 millibars, and again, uh, all of this will be rolling over into a squall line west of the state. And then this is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. The surface low is over Lake Michigan, way north of here, with a trailing band of showers and storms that are in the weakening phase at that point, with the dynamic support moving so far north. In terms of the timing, this is the high-resolution NAM, valid at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And that's when the 
storms are just creeping in here. So when I say after midnight, we mean well after midnight, uh, maybe toward daybreak tomorrow. Um, and then this is 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can see how things are just fizzling out as the uh, support pulls away. Look at some of the severe weather parameters. We'll center the time tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, the uh, higher instabilities are over southwest Alabama. And keep in mind the dynamics are farther, you know, way north of here. Uh, 750 to about 1,500 joules down there. This is the helicity uh, in the lower level, zero to one kilometer. And those are, you know, so so values for severe weather in early April. Maybe a few sustained updrafts, but clearly the big values are north of here. And this is the low-level jet, the wind field at about 5,000 feet off the ground where the pressure is 850 millibars. And again, you got 30-knot winds, maybe a few 40-knot spots up there in the far northeastern part of the state, but that's pretty marginal for severe weather. And the EHI, the Energy Helicity Index, the, the values are at one unit over parts of West Alabama where the instability values are higher. So really no change in our thinking. A line of severe storms entering northwest Alabama early tomorrow morning, 4 or 5 o'clock around the shoals. Potential for strong, maybe damaging straight-line winds. Over northwest Alabama, the storms gradually weaken as they move south tomorrow morning. And we'll be watching them. This is Saturday. We're in between systems. Should be a dry day and a little cooler, uh, high around 70. But for the northern two-thirds of the state, it will be nice, still a chance of showers near the Gulf Coast. But here comes the rain right back. This is Sunday. A surface low develops around Lake Charles, Louisiana. Just after midnight Sunday night, that surface low is south of Memphis, 999 millibars. And uh, that is putting Alabama in the warm se sector of this storm. And this is uh, Monday morning at 7 a.m. The surface low is uh, near Jackson, Tennessee, with the uh, thunderstorms... Uh, you know, doing their thing over Alabama. And then by 1 o'clock, uh, the dry slot begins to move in and the rain kicks out of here. Uh, the, the one limiting factor with this is going to be the instability. This is uh, the instability early Monday morning, and there's just not much. And that's the big question. Can the air destabilize uh, with this thing lifting out of the, you know, southwest part of Louisiana? Uh, but this is what's concerning very high levels of uh, bulk shear in the lower levels. This is the uh, shear between the surface and 925 millibars, and that clearly is screaming, you know, tornado threat. Uh, considering climatology, this is early April. So if the air can destabilize Sunday night, there could be a severe weather risk late Sunday night into early Monday morning, uh, probably, you know, midnight to you know, 7, 8 a.m., something like that. And that's something we'll focus on very carefully over the weekend. But we really need to get this thing out of here, you know, tomorrow. And then we can focus on that one. But just be aware of the possibility. This is Tuesday. Still a chance of some lingering rain as this upper trough swings in here. Tuesday will be cloudy and cooler uh, with the high only in the low and mid-60s with a chance of some light rain. And this is Wednesday. The trough is digging over the east. And down below that, we have cold air advection. Uh, we might have a hard time getting out of the 50s on Wednesday for some communities uh, with a stiff north breeze. And you know the deal, that could set the stage for some problems Thursday morning with frost. Uh, that's uh, the, the map there Thursday afternoon. These are the anomalies Thursday morning. Uh, the green there, that represents anomalies of 10 to 15 degrees below average. And uh, if we have problems, it's going to be Thursday morning. And uh, we could see some low and mid-30s. And the growers just need to be aware of this possibility. Again, it's a little too early to be specific with numbers, but uh, just something to watch and understand that threat is there. What they're a little deeper, this is tax day, April 15th. Surface low over New Orleans, producing a big wet down, if this is right. And on April 18th, that would be dry. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.